Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So in this problem, we have a simple table with some x values and some y values. And we need to actually find which of these answers, a, b, c, or d, best represents a situation that can make those values. So what we need to do is we need to take each of these, we'll start with a, and see if we can come up with our own table to match that situation and see if that table matches what we have right up here. So we have Rachel, she has $6 and then started to save $1 each week. So it looks like we're going to have two things. We're going to have our money and then we're going to have our week. And we're not sure whether they're X or Y, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to look at the values real quick. So she started, she had $6. So she had $6, that would be, be even before we started, that'd be week zero. And then she started to save a dollar a week. Okay, so seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna get week one, week two, week three, week four. So she just saves one dollar a week. So even though I flipped them upside down, you know, this actually kind of looks like what we have right here. This is an additive relationship because we're just adding one dollar a week. So this might be it. It looks like I've got the same values there. Let's look at the rest. So B here. Beatrice ran one mile the first week and one mile each week after that. Okay, so we've got, instead of money, we've got miles. I'm just going to put M, and then I'll put weeks again. And so we know that the first week, so we're going to start with the first week and we're just going to add one week each and she ran one mile the first week and then one mile each week after that so if she ran one mile the first week and then the next week she ran another mile so we're going to add one add one so those two values actually just they just mirror each other and this is another additive relationship because we're just adding one mile per week probably not it does go up by ones, but take a look at the y values here. Do not show up anywhere near, so probably not going to be B. Let's look at C here. So James read zero books in six months. So we're looking at months. I'll put M-O, then I'll put books. Just the M-O so we don't confuse it with that miles. So zero books in six months, all right, so six months, zero books, and then start to read one book each week. So it looks like this is not even months, this might be weeks, that's kind of confusing. And then one book a week, so seven, eight, nine, but I'm not sure what's going on here because we've got weeks and months. Look, we've got two different units here. We don't really mix units. So I'm not thinking that's going to be it because we don't mix the units. And then let's check D here. D, Marion has six times the number of toy trains that Tony has. So we just have Marion and Tony. And this is an additive relationship up here. In case you're wondering, up and see. So Marion and Tony, and Marion has six times the number of trains that Tony has. So if Tony has one, Marion's got six, Tony's got two, 12, three, 18, four, 24. This is a multiplicative relationship. Multiplicative, because we're multiplying by six. But that is definitely not what we're needing here. So we are going to go with the answer of A, just because that C might be correct, but take a look at the, the months and the weeks, two different units, that doesn't work. So our answer is A.